Maggie want to welcome everybody here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the joining of two hearts, and to cherish the words that will unite them in marriage. You may be seated. This day is so special, and we choose all of you to be here to celebrate with them. Each one of you have supported their journey as a couple and as parents to their beautiful blessing, Charlotte. Charlotte has brought so much joy and love to their lives. <laughs> Eric and Maggie have chosen 1 Corinthians 13 to express their love and loyalty. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Love never fails. This day is a celebration of a love that is patient, a love that is kind, and a love that is true. Your beautiful relationship has already shown strength and unconditional love. Their love is a fun type of love. They love to laugh and to make others laugh. Their sense of humor is one of their best assets, individually, but more so as a couple. Your love and wit beautifully complement each other. We wish you a lifetime full of love and laughter. In preparation for the ceremony, I asked the bride and groom their preferences. I was instructed that this day has been 12 years in the making, so the ceremony should be short and sweet. <laughs> That being said, Maggie, have you come here today on your own free will to take Eric to be your husband, that you may live together as equal partners, sharing all that life has to offer? I have. Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him all the days of your life? I will. Eric, have you come here today on your own free will to make Maggie to take Maggie to be your wife? that you may live together as equal partners, sharing all that life has to offer. I have. Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her all the days of your life? I will. May I have the rings? Maggie, repeat after me. I, Maggie, take you, Eric, to be my husband. I may give you Eric to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Eric, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. Eric, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You may now place the ring. Eric, repeat after me. I, Eric, take you, Maggie, to be my wife. I, Eric, take you, Maggie, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Maggie, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. Maggie, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You may now place the ring. <coughs> Eric and Maggie want to symbolize their marriage with the lighting of the unity candle. Lighting the center candle represents that your two lives are now joined to one light, and the joining together of your two families. The light of love and the light of new beginnings. May its light shine bright and steady upon your path together. Hand in hand, they've exchanged the wedding bands. 
Eric, you may kiss your bride. Oh. 